Here we'll enter our user ID and password. Okay, this is the front end screen available to the end user. Okay. Here we can enter the transactions. For example, if I want to enter a journal entry or an invoice, well, let us take the invoice. If I want to enter a vendor invoice, okay. I can just enter the vendor number and the invoice date. I can save this transaction. can see the document got posted in this way the invoice can be entered okay so this is the uh, screen which is uh, accessed by the end users okay but for uh, this purpose for this particular posting to take place there will be a lot of configuration or settings that should be made by the consultant and that will be done in the back end in the IMG screen Here you can see the IMG screen where we can create all sort of configurations and settings. For example, if I want to create a company code. So it's the configuration is a step by step process. This has to be done by the consultant as per the requirement of the client. Okay. So you can see that there are a lot of things available here. This will satisfy at least 90% of the requirements of any client. So if you don't have SAP installed in your computer, um, how can you, um, you know, do these exercises? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll come to that aspect. We actually provide access to the servers. I'll let you know about that process. So okay. the, uh, here are the various company codes uh, which you, uh, which have been created. Likewise, you can prepare, uh, create a company code. Okay, and then have the GL accounts, if you are talking about FI, you have the various GL accounts created, then the transactions using the GL accounts, and then it culminates in the pro with the process of the creation of the balance sheet. So in this way, all the configuration is done at the back end by the functional concern. Okay. So... Yeah, uh, coming to the question raised by you, uh, we have uh, as part of this courses, what are all uh, we do, we give to the uh, participants, I will uh, let you know. Okay, so the sessions will be for, of for three hours each. The whole course for, for FI and CO, it will take around 50 hours. Okay. So it will be spread around uh, eight weeks, okay. And uh, each session uh, will be three hours each, okay. And we have two sessions every week. Usually it will be on the weekend, and but if the participants are uh, participants wants any other timings, we can accommodate that, 
okay so you have two sessions every week okay and each session will be three hours each okay so apart from that uh, the process of teaching in the class is we have the powerpoint presentations for example this is on a topic okay first i will let you go through the powerpoint presentations and create the same in sap okay i will then uh, show the participants how to create them in sap okay and then we have after the session gets over we have materials like this okay we have materials like this where each screenshot by screenshot depiction is shown okay so even if the session is over you can always practice this at your home okay uh, in the using sap okay so now comes the question of how you can practice it we practice it, uh, you can we provide you access to the servers okay for around 3 to 4 months okay that includes the 2 months duration uh, when the session is going on so the access will be provided to you 24 bar 7 You you can have access to that any time. Okay, Nipuna. Um, but I don't understand. Even if you have access to the server, mm -hmm. um, doesn't that only give you access to the files, not SAP itself? No, no, no. You will access SAP itself. You like just uh, how I am logging into SAP. Mm -hmm. Just. 